Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain to you one of the very confusing topic in the networking world. What is the difference between these three terms, RIB, FIB, and Ceph? Somewhat Ceph is pretty clear to most people, but RIB and FIB is kind of confusing. So let's first look at what is RIB routing information base routing information base is actually is not just for one protocol when you are running multiple protocol on your router each routing protocol has its own rib for example if you take ospf ospf is a link state database so it build its own rib based on all the link state information and SPF, the shortest path algorithm, will run on its link state database. If you issue a command show IP OSPF database, that is the one called link state database. So SPF will run on top of that link state database and form its own rib routing information base specific to OSPF. Similar to OSPF, all other routing protocols running on the router, I mean the dynamic routing protocol, will create its own RIP. And there are other routes, connected routes and static routes also in those routers. So all of them come to this RIP common RIP. That is what called RIP, routing information base. So routing information base on a router is not specific to a particular routing protocol. So now we know what is RIP. Let's focus on the FIB. FIB is the forwarding information base. Think RIP as a master blueprint of all possible route in the network. It contains more detailed information, including metrics and policies. On the other hand, FIB is simplified, optimized version of RIP, containing only the best route for forwarding packet. So when the router build the FIB, it will look at what is the most efficient, fastest route and then only bring in that route into the forwarding information base. That is where you know the administrative distance and other metrics come into play. You know routers prefer one route over the other based on some metrics, for example, administrative distance. Lower administrative distance is preferred than the higher one. So that is how you know selective routes are taken out of the RIP and brought into the FIB for final layer 3 forwarding. So now you know the difference between RIB and FIB. So now we go into the last topic that is Ceph. Ceph is the combination of FIB and adjacency table. FIB is a layer 3 information regarding the routes and once you know the route, you need to know the egress interface. That is where layer two information is needed. So it uses the adjacency table. Adjacency table is built from ARP table. ARP table has the layer two information. So the packet can be forwarded to the right egress interface using the destination MAC address. So this is how Ceph works. So now we know what is RIB, what is FIB, and what is Ceph. We know the difference between all three of them. Hope this video is informative to you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notification for future video updates.